It's cursed. Bit dramatic, James. I am not dramatic. No sooner does the Fat Controller find a shunter for the big station than they're shipped off to some branch line never to be seen again. This again? You big engines can't handle shunting your own trains after all this time? We're not meant to. Picture a great big thing like Murdoch trying to shunt. He'd topple over in the sidings before he could even couple to a truck. <laughs> well, me, eh? Uh, you're right. You wouldn't have trouble though, James. You do it all the time. <laughs> Whether I can or not, it's not my job. Mind you, I'd rather the Fat Controller ship this new shunter to a branch. He's a new shunter, which is exactly what you've been whining for. Maybe this curse is broken at last. You mark my words, Rosie. He won't be the one to break it. He was Dennis. The Fat Controller had purchased him to keep things running smoothly at the big station. It soon became apparent that Dennis wasn't going to be running anywhere fast. The Diesel's laziness knew no bounds. He'd roll from the sheds to the sidings, perhaps push a few trucks into their proper places, then promptly fall asleep. Dennis's driver did his best, but nothing he tried would make the Diesel work. Oh. Rosie was oblivious to it all. Day in and day out, she kept busy scuttling about the coal yards. She shunted to the trucks expertly, and they gave her no trouble. In spite of this, she grew bored of the same old, same old, and the thickening coat of coal dust masking her pink paint. One morning, Rosie arrived at the big station, having worked through the night. She was eager to park her trucks and have a rest, but she wouldn't be so lucky. What's happened here? Um, I don't know. Oh, thank goodness. You must be the yard shunter. Oh, please, help me make some room for my trucks. Can't. Uh, um, uh, why? S sleeping. <laughs> yeah, um, I I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't catch that. Sleeping? I don't know how you can be with a yard so... unkept. Quite easily. You should try it yourself sometime. I'd like to, but there's nowhere for me to leave my trucks. I don't know what you're talking about. There's a free siding right next to you. You just have to move the trucks that are in it now. Problem solved. Oh, yes, <laughs> brilliant idea, only there's nowhere to put those ones either. Coaches, hello? Good grief. Now this is a surprise. Oh, thanks for bringing me my coaches, Rosie. Thank the new shunter. He let me have the honour. That Dennis, hmm. He hasn't changed a bit. Poor Richard thought he'd gotten through to him. Well, I hope someone does. James might be onto something with his curse. <laughs> He's got to be the strangest choice and shunter for a station this busy. The laziest, yes, but not the strangest. Uh, what, what, what do you mean? Well... Back in the early days of our railway, Thomas did most of the shunting at the big station. However, there was a black tank engine that was loaned from another railway. We all tried to say hello, but it was silent, save for the occasional whistle.
We'd see it shuffling around the sidings, keeping everything orderly. It certainly got on Thomas's nerves. Dare I say, it made him shape up. Strange and silent as it was, Sir Topham Hatt was impressed with its work and hoped to purchase it. Its railway refused, and it was eventually called back home. I still remember the mournful whistle it gave on the day it left. We all felt very sorry for it. I bet it run rings around Dennis. I wonder where it is now. Your guess is as good as mine, but to be a steam engine on any railway but the fat controllers, I can only assume. If that is the case, it would certainly account for certain occurrences around here. Uh, I, I don't follow. Any time we've been without a permanent shunter, strange things have happened. Trucks rolling about the sidings, points switching to lead to the yard, whistles coming from distant engines that never seem to arrive. The Fat Controller always finds a logical explanation. Though some of the workers say it's the tank engine's ghost, retreading old grounds with the hopes of showing us it's still really useful. <laughs> yeah, never mind that tank engine. You might be the strangest engine ever to work here. Wouldn't expect a newcomer to understand. I suppose it wouldn't be the worst thing if it came back again anyway. Perhaps it could show Dennis a thing or two. Oh, well, I must be off. Thank you again for fetching my coaches, Rosie. Show Dennis a thing or two. Hmm. Rosie bided her time. She wanted to give Dennis the benefit of the doubt, but each time she arrived at the big station, the sidings would be in shambles. Day after day, she'd have to tidy the yard before she could leave her coal trucks. It took so long that she usually ended up shunting for the big engines. All the while, Dennis did the bare minimum, and sometimes not even that. Finally, Rosie had had enough, and decided to put her plan into action. Wake up, Dennis! Time to go to the shed! Later. Ugh. It's meant to be freezing tonight. Besides, you're always moaning to go back to your shed. Oh, leave me alone. Come on, stupid. Oh. Fine. You know what? I don't care. Suit yourself. What? What time is it? Well, that's rather cruel. They could have at least taken me back to the shed. And? Who's there? Oh, <laughs> doing me a f f favor, are you? <laughs> uh, most kind. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be off to sleep now. Yikes! Oh, well, uh, what a nice surprise! Oh. Uh, hello, um, a friend. Was it was it you're doing all that? Uh, 
Oh, well, 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 thank you ever so much. Uh, I <laughs> uh, greatly appreciate the... The... Uh, what do you want from me? It, 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 is it the yard? Oh, I'm ever so sorry. But, but, but please, I'll, I'll keep it clean. I, I, I swear, I swear. I told him Dennis is going to be cold tonight. Why do I even bother? Come on, boy, let's get you into the shed. Let's see if we can't lick the lazy lump into shape. Help! Ghost! Huh? Get away, get away! <sighs> oh, ouch. Yes. Ouch. It's my fault, sir. I was cross about having to do Dennis's work as well as my own. It's no fun being stuck in the coal yards while keeping a whole station running without recognition, sir. I thought a good scare might teach him a lesson. I suppose it backfired, sir. It most certainly did. You must understand, Rosie, that I'm always aware of the goings-on on my railway. I know all about your double duty, and I'm most impressed with your work ethic. However, I do not approve of this plain ghost tomfoolery. If engines aren't doing their job, I will be the one to address it. Is that clear? Y y yes sir, my, my apologies sir. As for you. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. sir. I'll, I'll be a bit better, Shunter, I, I swear. Oh, please, sir, g g give me another chance. Very well, Dennis. But it's clear a watchful eye is needed here. The watchful eye was rosy. The Fat Controller ordered that Dennis learn how to be a proper shunter from her, and until he was successful, Rosie would retain her cloak of coal dust. Much to the surprise of everyone, Rosie's instructions weren't needed. Dennis sprung into action like never before. He hurried about at a great pace, tidying sidings and bringing trains to the platform. Rosie was dumbfounded and couldn't help noticing how skittish Dennis was. Of course, we know why. Rosie popped into the yards one day to check in on him. All the trucks and coaches had been squared away into their proper sidings. My, my, Rosie beamed. The place has never looked better. Oh, great work, Dennis! Dennis, who still wasn't used to applying himself, was red in the face. <sighs> well, in a day's work, he said. Coaches, coaches, please, and thank you! You must be tired after doing all this work. Here, I'll get Henry's. No, 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 no! I'll do that! <laughs> it's my job after all! One late night, Rosie came into the station with her last coal delivery. The yard was empty, and she was glad to be done with her jobs. And that's... that. Oh, well, no harm in resting the old eyes.
There aren't any other engines. It must be... Ghost! Where? Oh! Oh, it's only you. <laughs> I thought the yard was empty, Dennis. <laughs> yeah, well, think again. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll tell you what. I'll make it up to you. I'll shunt my trucks away and you go and get some sleep. You look like you need it. I don't like s sleeping. Okay, I knew something was wrong. What's that supposed to mean? You know exactly what, Dennis. I'm glad you've picked up the slack, but there is such a thing as too much work. And don't think I haven't noticed how on edge you've been these last few days. Tell me what's up. It can just stay between me and you if you'd like. I had a nightmare the other day. A really bad one. And that's why I bumped into you. I was scared. I'm still scared. Oh. I must have shaken you up bad. Mm-hmm. Tell you what. Murdoch was on his way to the mainland. There's a free spot in the roundhouse if you don't want to be on your own. The station can be spooky at night. Hello, everyone. Dennis is going to stay here tonight. I hope that's all right with everyone. No, he can sleep in his own shed, Rosie. This one's reserved for really useful engines. He is really useful. He's been nothing but helpful all week. And then he'll stop. Fool us once, shame on him. Fool us twice, shame on us. Now that's not fair. I've really changed for good this time. Honest. It should have been last time, Dennis. Do you know me, Richard? I can change, you know that. Oh, tell them. Dennis, uh, maybe you should leave. But, but, but that, but that's, but. Okay. Come on, Dennis. There should be room in the carriage shed. Thanks for standing up for me back there, Rosie. No one's ever had my back before. What are friends for, right? Friends? Oh, um, I'm sorry. I've been meaning to get to this lot. I'd better give the place a little spring clean. You really should get some sleep, Dennis. I, I will. As soon as I'm finished, you can do it in the morning. But really useful engines deserve to rest. So rest up now. Please. All right. Good engine. It's just a dream, just a dream, just a really, really bad dream. Dreamland, dreamy, happy, happy, ha ha time, you know, it's nothing to fear. Uh, just a dream, I hope. Oh, leave me alone.
This? Oh, oh, I'm gonna do it in the first thing in the morning. Oh, honest, I just need to get a bit of sleep. I know that sounds like another excuse, but 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 it isn't R -r really. Rosie said I deserve some rest. No. The place has never looked better. Great work, Dennis. There's a free spot in the roundhouse if you don't want to be on your own. He's really useful. He's been nothing but helpful all week. What are friends for, right? No, no, leave her alone. I don't know why I keep having this dream, but I've had enough. You wanted me to be a better engine, didn't you? That's why you won't go away? Well, I have, and that's how it's going to stay. I guarantee it. So you can stop showing up in my head and you can point that little thing someplace else and you can get away from my friend. you say, Dennis? Huh? Or was asleep? Oh, were you saying something? Oh, good night. Good night, Rosie. Oh, uh, good night to you too. The next morning, Dennis woke up bright and early to tidy up the carriage sheds. Then, he prepared the first train. The other engines were still sceptical of him, but a week passed, then another, and by the time the month was over, they were convinced this new Dennis was here to stay. Dennis found, too, that he liked the new Dennis. Now that he was pulling his weight, the others were much friendlier to him. In time he made firm friends with them all, but he's most glad to have made a friend in Rosie. He started being a hard worker out of any fear of one-eyed engines. Now it was because he wanted to. He's never been happier, and is very thankful he learned sense. A bad dream can do a bit of good now and again, he will say. But then, from a certain point of view, I suppose you could say it was a good dream after all. Here you go, Henry. <laughs> I know you like the red ones most, so... Ah, very thoughtful, Dennis, and right on time. Thank you. <sighs> if only the service were this good at Vickerstown. Oh, why? Who's the shunter there? Well, there isn't one. Hasn't been for ages. Last one was a tank engine who was transferred from up here. Left the island pretty soon after, though. Really sums it up nicely. Faulting points, no point in keeping this oversized branch line open. If you ask me, it's falling to bits.